So I might have not mentioned this before, but my dream was to retire at 40. That's next year. Uh, we have an hour, <laughs> nowhere close to that. So what would you recommend would be the right financial assets to, to invest in over the next 10 years to be able to say I can retire comfortably? And by comfortably, I don't mean private jet. I'm looking at that like in my 60s. But like comfortably, like my kids can go to private school. I own a nice home. I have good health care. There's some trust fund money I put aside for them. Yeah. So... Uh... 40 is a bit challenging <laughs> because now you're saying you're on ten, ne next 10 years. Remember the challenge. So uh, yesterday I was speaking somewhere and they asked me to talk. I talk it's slightly different. You know, it was a, we were talking about what you'd advise your 21-year-old self when you are 21. Now you're no longer 21. I'm no longer 21. The thing is that, um, as I said, because creating wealth is um you know is a is a poly poly time thing you know 10 years is a very short time in that uh, you know that kind of thing but obviously you can go build yourself a very successful business i had you earlier talk about doing fa was it fashion yeah you can think about how to build that into something that one day you can sell having said that do you know you never have enough money it never happens. So what is very critical in wealth creation or what, or what this is that you start small. Always start, even if it is small, just get started. That's what I tell you. Just get started. At whatever age, just start. You will still be better off 10 years from now than where you'd be if you do not start. So the first thing is to just start. It doesn't matter if you start with a little money or a lot of money because this thing is about time and about little by little. So often people say, I will start when I have enough, but it's never enough and never will be. So the key is just uh, uh, to start. But uh, I would say at 40, you need to think about something like a business you can launch or do that we will make you Either you'll sell it you know, in 10 years' time and cash out and put that now into your investment account. Because there are many people also who are doing that. They build businesses. Now, unfortunately, of course, because we, we have killed our capital markets, that's where people should be selling their businesses. Yeah. But a lot of times that's not even an option today. But it, we are hopeful. We are working on it. <clears throat> we think the people who can make this happen are listening so that uh, in future, but because that's what people do in America, they build business and sell. They even sell their restaurants. I run a restaurant, then when I get to 60, I sell it. To the next guy, I put that cash in a money market fund or a mutual fund, and that's my retirement uh, uh, plan. So, and, and remember that 85% of us in Kenya do not have a formal job. So you either have a business you started so when you start that business, I started a business. I'll tell you, you start it with a view to how you can sell it. Otherwise, if it dies with you, then you have probably gotten rid of your retirement package right there and then. So, I mean, build businesses that you can sell. That would be my advice.